Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, magic user in training. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. Yeah, a little bit late getting started, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But yeah, also a little bit late, a little bit very late getting resuming streaming after, uh, yes, after all of the Ark Knights from two weeks ago? I don't know. It's a, it was a while. But yes. These unplanned breaks sneak up on me every now and then. But yes. Anyway, so, doing just fine. Don't worry about that. But yes. Um, let's see. I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to spend too, too much time here, because we don't have too, too much time to play the game. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's just get into it, basically. We can talk while we go about our business. Video games. Yes. So. The Ark Knights events were quite something. Yeah. So, because... In part because of that, just because it was a whole lot of streaming for, yeah, again, I was streaming roughly two to three times more than usual for a period of about two weeks. So that left me pretty drained. And after that, I had some other business and just combined with some poor, not taking quite good enough care of myself, uh, left me quite tired and uh, for quite a while. But yeah, more so, well, I don't know, less of a matter of taking care of myself and mostly just sort of a matter of not putting myself to bed on, on time, which is a recurrent issue in my life, but anyway, so yes, so. One thing I also realized sort of at the end of the, at the end of that time is that, uh, I had spent the entire month of September without uploading any VODs, which is quite unfortunate. Let's see. What are we... I'm trying to remember what we're in the middle of doing here. But yes. So, okay, we have a, a letter from Jean-Paul delivered to his mother. Right, right, right. And that should wrap us up for the, the deliveries for this day. They're... Actually... Well... Hmm... We also have the kites, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> but yes. I don't know. I might just make this a floating around stream while I sort of talk about things. We've got fish bowls down there. But yes. Dog's a little bit fussy this evening, unfortunately. Yeah, I was... That's part of the reason why I was delayed. I was... He was a little bit... Yeah, a little bit noisy earlier, and I was wondering if he would stop. And he did stop for a while. But, uh... He decided to make himself known once more. It is what it is, I suppose. But yes. I need to remember how to play this video game. So yes. So X is Broom. As evidenced by the icon in the bottom, the bottom left there. Yes, why is jump? I keep thinking that it's a different button. But yes, anyway, it is why. It's the top button because it makes you makes you go up. But yes. So, anyway, as I was saying, so I, I realize now that I did not upload any VODs for the entire month of, of September, which is uh atypical. Again, my attention was focused elsewhere because I don't know, I can't speak to why I didn't have any up sort of in the first few weeks of September. But yes, throughout mo much of September was when we were doing the Ark Knights events, like I said. But yes, was when we were doing the Ark Knights events, like I said. So, that accounts for some of it, but it can't account for all of it. But... I suppose, unless I were to travel back a very short distance in time and talk to my previous self, uh, I probably am not going to get any answers on that. And though it will probably be quite a while before uh, this this VOD hits YouTube, I suppose not all that long, because we're up to, what, I think, part four or five of the uh, 
Arknights VODs, or the uh, Operation Originium Dust VODs. So this, this VOD should be up next week, assuming that we, uh, yeah, early next week, assuming that I maintain something resembling a schedule, and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't at this point. But yes, so my heartfelt apologies to all of the YouTube VOD watchers. <laughs> I did not mean to let the field lie fallow for quite so long, but I hope, appreciate you've been uh, you've er, eh. I appreciate your patience, and I hope that you have been appreciating near daily uploads. This will not continue. <laughs> but yes, that will not be uh, a thing for some time because I will not be streaming daily going forward. But yes, let's see. So we've got another fireplace here. A place with fire, specifically. I don't see a sponge in the immediate area. But yeah, honestly, honestly, I'm not in too big of a, a big of a rush to make any in-game progress. So I think for now, we'll just sort of fly around and do some little side content here. But yeah, part of the reason I was I was late is because I was. Thinking about doing Ark Nights, this is... Well, I was going to say this is typically the day I would do Ark Nights. Tuesday is the day I would typically do Ark Nights. But I did not stream on Tuesday. Yeah, that was, you know, not a... Yeah, in this case, it was not any sort of, uh, you know... Part of the reason why I hadn't been streaming a lot recently is because, again, I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't prioritizing my sleep very much, and so I ended up being very tired... A lot of the days too tired I think to put on a stream that meets my quality standards but yeah there was nothing you know of that nature that prevented me from streaming on Tuesday basically I just decided you know what Wednesday is as good as as Tuesday so we might as well stream on on Wednesday a little bit of procrastination I suppose I think probably going through that first gust is Preventing me from being able to get the height I need off of the second one. So yes. Um, is this? I don't think that's going to be enough to carry me now. Hmm. I might not need that, but actually I might. I might. Hold on. No, well, okay. I can get around this way. But yes. It's always a little bit odd get back into things after I've taken a little break. I always feel like, you know, I always feel like I need to sort of make up for the, the lost time or something by putting on an extra good stream or something like that. But, let's see, are we... Yes, the sponge is still releasing water, it seems like, so I think we're good. Very good, very good. Alright, orb is acquired. Still not 100% sure of what the mechanics behind damage are. But I do want to be careful with this orb. I'm also not 100% sure where we want to take it. Actually, no. We need to take them to the, the little cannons, I suppose. Right. Yes, we have nothing here that doesn't want to get wet, so we don't need to worry about a dip in the water. I sure hope that the users of this delivery service aren't too bothered by the fact that their uh, sole delivery service worker uh, has just decided to take this day to wander around and do unrelated things. Anyway, apparently, according to the achievement I just got, we have uh, we have activated all the catapults. Not a whole lot of those. But yes. Anyway. So I always sort of want to do something more, I suppose. Can I? Yes, B is to drop. Okay. But yeah. So again, there was sort of a, a certain level of wanting to sort of have the first Ark Knight stream getting back into it. The sort of, if not, <clears throat> yeah, I guess, if not anything sort of notable, because I don't think there's anything too notable that I would be doing. 
But yeah, again, we do have, uh, there is a, an event going on right now, or at least I believe there is. I believe it's still going on. But yes, I have not engaged with it because it is quite, uh, involved with the sort of deeper story of Arknights, and we are nowhere near at that point, and I am nowhere near at that point to be able to really get what's going on. And... Ah. Unfortunate. So yes. Anyway, as I was saying. So yes. So, nothing too special. And, I don't know, mostly, mostly the reason why I picked it this game in particular is because I wanted something that was kind of low pressure, very calm. Yeah. Another game that I find, uh, have found to be quite relaxing when I've played it is Noita. It's been quite a while since we played Noita. So yeah, I considered playing Noita, but I figured, you know what, this is a series that I've been wanting to work on, so... This is a place where I've been wanting to continue, so let's continue this one. Okay, there we go. The Hanged. So yeah, so that is someone who we haven't seen before. Given the outfit and all that, I would assume that that is someone who, uh... Let's see, where is... There's the tarot cards. Yes, given the outfit, they seem to be a pilot, and given the proximity to the plane, I guess that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but if you're going to put a card that depicts a pilot, it might as well be near a plane, I suppose. They're perhaps not the best pilot in the world, given circumstances, but I don't know what happened to make the plane crash. Yes. I'll also be on the lookout for heights if I see them. Because, yeah, I don't... Given what I saw there, yeah, I haven't collected any, it seems like. Or though, although maybe it might be something that, like, resets when you reload the game. Hmm... Let's see, this is... something. Not quite sure what it is, to be honest. But it doesn't look like anything that I know how to solve a puzzle with, so I'm not going to concern myself with it currently. Yes, I don't know if we've interacted with a duck before, or seen a duck before in this game. There we go, another statue. I don't remember what we use those for, either. Hmm. Really is nice just to fly around a little bit. I'm glad I made this choice. And that is also something. Is that another... Oh, no. Is that a baby ostrich? Wait. Do ostriches actually fly? Huh. Interesting. It's a good thing that this baby ostrich is invincible, apparently. That's nice. So, I don't have the first uh, idea about anything to do with this creature. Perhaps I should leave it where I found it. But, I suppose, considering its invulnerability, we can't uh, go too wrong with carrying it around with us. But yeah, so given what I just saw from the from the ostrich prompt there, how it had a zero out of three, I'm assuming that means that... Uh, I don't know if I want to bring her baby ostrich up to this area. This is kind of a grim and gloomy area of the world. Anyway. Yeah, given what I saw, I assume that the... Ah. That seems like a place to bring a baby ostrich, if ever there was one. And that seems to be another baby ostrich up there, if ever there was one. Man, look at this thing. Look at all these creatures. Very good. Yes, you seem like an individual who prizes a baby ostrich or two. 
Or perhaps not. Hmm. Perhaps I need to talk to someone about this ostrich. Their unblinking gaze is somewhat, somewhat unnerving. Oh no, they are blinking. Never mind. They're only somewhat blinking gaze. Huh. These beauties are such hard work. Do you have any desire for an additional ostrich? Hmm. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm glad Cecile finally asked her son to help us. Hmm. No one seems to want to take this ostrich off my hands. It might be that I can just leave it in here. No, it doesn't seem as such. Perhaps I have to collect all of them? Hmm. Or perhaps I simply don't have the... Perhaps I simply don't know how to interact with them just yet. Dog. Nice. Hmm. Yes, you don't seem to have any additional prompts to interact with you from out here. Hmm. Well? This baby ostrich does have mannerisms more akin to that of perhaps a stuffed toy. Well, this seems to be a place where baby ostriches go. Or perhaps ostriches of all kinds, considering this larger one over here. I wonder if I have to talk to someone in some capacity to unlock the ability to interact with this place. Well, if nothing else, it's a another point on our on our mental map. Baby ostrich is just chilling beyond our comprehension. Yes. Hello, physicist. Good to see you. I too, on this fine evening, am chilling. But yes. Relaxing a little bit after a big big two weeks of arc nights and then a big two weeks of uh not sleeping very well due to my own poor uh decision making. Yes. I hope you are doing well today. I'm feeling quite well myself. Let's see. Anything of note up here? Ah, we've got another another uh, jar to break. Ah, and we've got another statue. Yes. Hope you get some better sleep soon. I have been getting better sleep actually. But yeah, I've been getting better sleep as of, you know, a few, a few days ago. But yeah, I had enough of my foolishness, and I took a, took, yeah, you know, just started taking it a little bit more seriously. Alright, now the tarot card for us. The chariot. So this would seem to be us. But yes, I believe that's, I believe that is Mika. Hmm. It looks a little bit like Mika, but also not not quite quite like Mika. I can't zoom in on it very, or I can't. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't zoom on it very much. I can't zoom on it, zoom in on it at all, actually, unless there is some prompt I'm not seeing. It'd be nice if I could take a bit of a closer look at the art. Yeah, I wonder if I have to collect all three ostriches at once. That's both within my capacity and something that, uh, yeah, it is something that I could do. I can carry three ostriches at a time. An odd metric, perhaps, but it is it is a thing. But yes. Ah, oh, another statue. Very nice. I don't remember what those are for. I think I mentioned that earlier, but yes, I don't remember what those are for. I think you can exchange them for collectibles in some capacity. Hmm. But yeah. One thing I sort of was thinking of with this game is I feel like sort of the this very sort of kind of small constrained map. I don't think that they have any like additional maps, at least not from what I understood of how the scope of the game was explained. Though I suppose I wasn't keeping that close of track. 
Yeah, I feel like this sort of an environment like this would make for a very interesting sort of uh, a very interesting setting for some sort of uh, additional challenges, perhaps like uh, mini games or something like that. Races, perhaps. Yeah, it's definitely. I've mentioned this before, but this feels like the the kind of game that it'd be really interesting to learn how to like how to move through it very proficiently. To speed run, perhaps. I thought those flowers were another statue there, but it would seem that they are not. But yeah, I don't know if I necessarily uh, have any intention of speed running it myself, but it definitely seems like a game that it would be fun to learn advanced movement tech in. And I assume we're probably going to get access to some additional options later on. Up we go, and is this enough distance? That might have been enough distance, but it definitely wasn't in. It wasn't the wasn't the right angle. We've landed on the side before, and it has not done us much good. So I think we need to. Okay, so that wasn't anything. Oops. Yes. So we need a little bit more height. It seems like because yeah, even landing squarely on the top of it did not break it. We can get a little bit more height off of this power line, I think. So whether we can get up to the power line is another question. Um, we can get up the line. I suppose we can't get up to the uh, top of the utility... What would it be? A utility tower? I believe that, that would be the term. We're marginally higher than we were with the gust. I'm not 100% sure if we're... High enough for it to count, no. Hmm. Well, if we go around here-ish, I think we should be able to... I think we should be able to figure out some way up that cliff. A very ominous place for our chill evening. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, there's no convenient gusts, but maybe... No, the smoke does not push us upwards, unfortunately. Though, perhaps that is fortunate, because I don't think I'd want to necessarily subject Mika to that repeatedly in order to gain a platforming advantage. Yes, there, over there, is that pot that we saw that I don't know the purpose of. <clears throat> Have another statue here. But I'd need a little bit more verticality to be able to access that as well. Hmm. I was hoping to shoot for that other gust over there. Let's see if we can... Yeah, that's a good way to get verticality without sort of looping around like that. But, you don't have quite enough height off of that one updraft. Hmm. Yeah, so I think another thing that'd be sort of interesting would be to sort of, uh, if there was some sort of, like, bingo system in this game where you have to, like, go to specific locations and achieve specific goals or pick up specific items, something to that effect could be quite interesting, I think. Because, yeah, this feels like a, a game world that's very much within the scope of what you could pretty easily sort of hold in your mind and understand pretty well. Magician. Well, this is definitely Mika. And if ever there was a magician... Well, I don't know. I suppose she's not that much of a magician so far. Given that she was, you know, in the middle of going to receive training when the game started. And we haven't received any training yet. We've gotten some sort of practical experience, I suppose, but we still haven't, like, done anything resembling a spell so much. We've just kind of flown around and, uh, 
flown around and accepted uh, work offers. Oh dear. Mm hmm. I don't know that I can get up that way, but I think we can get a little bit more height off of this bush. There we go. And will this take us... I don't know if this will take me anywhere that I want to go, actually. But yeah, anyway. I was on the topic of Arc Knights, but I got very, very much distracted. So yeah, so anyway. So I kind of wanted to play something a little bit more... A little bit more relaxed. A little bit less uh, intense. But yeah. I know we're definitely not sort of uh not going to be facing the same sort of difficulty because again you know from what i have gathered from what i have been told the final boss of operation originium dust is one of the one of the hardest stages in just the game in all of arc knights so you know that experience was a bit challenging and it sort of made me a little bit worried if we were going to be able to complete it so i sort of felt a little bit nervous about getting back into Arc Knights, but, you know, whatever stage we're doing, if we've already overcome the hardest stage, then it's probably going to be fine. But, even so, I wanted a low-pressure experience today. Hmm. We can probably do something with those rings at some point, but there doesn't seem to be anything we can do with them now. Yes, I don't see any other convenient ways up that cliff, though, from having seen that one gust just suddenly disappear, I suppose there is some amount of, uh, hulling in this game. So there might be gusts and updrafts and whatnot that are present and could be leveraged to our advantage, but which we just can't see from here. Yeah. I do think, given, yeah, given how it took us a a little bit to unlock the ability to interact with gusts and updrafts, we might yet get a broom upgrade that allows us to interact with these rings. Yes, there should still be some arrow cards that are more accessible to us. So we can leave that one aside for right now. Yes, I think there's at least one or two more in the area of the town. Or at least closer to town. There's one right there. That should be pretty doable. We've got us a pretty nice ramp here. Which has a convenient little gust up at the top. Oops. Walking feels a little bit slower. I don't know how much slower it is than grooming, but it's definitely more controllable. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy fall. Very good. The tower. Ah. That definitely looks like a, a bad, bad day for the windmill. Hmm. And indeed, the windmill has endured at least one bad day from the looks of things. Or perhaps that's simply the weight of many less than ideal days. That crack on the side there. But yes, I believe... I don't know, I can't say with any certainty that there's any specific... Yeah, there's another spot anywhere nearby. But it feels like there... Hmm. I suppose if there was one sort of in a convenient central location, I probably would have gotten it already. But I'll tell you what I haven't gotten already. Ah, it's a kite. But yes, I don't... In the situation with the ostrich and the similar prompt with, with the kite. 
I do still wonder if I maybe need to collect like all of them at once before I turn them in or something like that. Again, that should be doable. I don't know if that's what the game is specifically expecting, but it's definitely doable. I suppose we could always see. Ah, okay, so this is another one that, can be, that we can break, I do believe. Yes, it was sort of integrated with the uh, the architecture, so I wasn't I my eyes sort of glossed over it before. Because yeah, I don't think I recall seeing that previously. There we go, and we can get a little bit more height here, and we can get a little bit more height here. Hmm, but can, is this enough? I think if we jump off of this, there we go. That should leave us on top of here. Oh. All right, let's try that again. In theory, hold on. Hmm. So, get us a better position. And jump. Um, hmm. I don't think we can get a great jump off of the lower of the two arms. Two sets of arms, I suppose. So this might just be the better option. Oop. Alright. Didn't mean to lose my broom there. Hmm. Let's see. Actually, there's a closer updraft over there, so that might be what we use. All right, that's not quite enough distance. I feel like I could maybe have gotten the very bottom of that, but it'd be more, it'd be easier to go this way, I believe, or perhaps not. Hmm. All right. Carefully, don't get drawn into another gust. On. Um, hmm. Ah, actually, this. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, little things like that, ramping off of things in interesting ways. That's the sort of thing I'm thinking of. Something about this game's physics makes me just want to test all the little interactions I can have. What I can use as a ramp and what what I can jump off of and what I can't. But yes, anyway. So this should take us... Oh yeah, this should take us basically... If we wanted to, we could probably just drift over to the power pole... Hmm, maybe not quite. A little bit more height would be good. It's a safer option at the very least. Almost feels like a shame destroying this, considering it is integrated so neatly. But, regardless. Oh. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I'm not going to stop trying, though. Yes, I think, well, I'll stop trying after one more attempt. Either it will work or it won't, but yeah. I did want to keep this, well, I was going to say I was going to keep this short. I, don't, I didn't necessarily want it to be short, but I do want to make sure that I'm closing stream on time. You know, I don't go to bed immediately after I finish streaming. But yeah, but I definitely am not in a... Given what I've discussed earlier, you know, I don't want to be putting myself in a position where I have, you know, anything that sort of distracts me from, well, I don't know. Basically, <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm going to bed on time, and I don't want to, even though, you know, even if I were to stream for, like, another hour, it probably wouldn't affect my bedtime too much, but... I don't know. I want to be a little bit cautious. It takes me... I don't know. It doesn't take me, like, a long time to fall asleep, but it does take me a good while to sort of get ready to go to bed, basically. I sort of... It's, uh... Yeah. I don't know. If I'm doing anything too interesting, I just sort of don't fall asleep. Or, well, not, not don't fall asleep, but I don't go to bed. That's the issue. When I go to bed, I fall asleep pretty quickly and pretty soundly. Hmm. 
yeah, I fall asleep pretty quickly and pretty consistently. Yeah, I don't really have any issues getting to sleep. But, again, the issue is going to bed on time. And so, I think I will uh, do what I said, basically. But first, I'm going to collect this little statue now that I see it. Thanks. Anyway. All right. So, yes. Not a whole lot done. Just sort of a lot of flying around and a little bit of relaxing. But some evenings, that's what you need. So, yes. So, I suppose to wrap up, once again, my, uh, my apologies for the lack of activity on the uh, VOD channel for quite some time. I really can't account for it for in any great degree. But yes, thank you for your patience during the sort of unplanned break I took. But yeah, again, you know, that was uh, the, the result of some mistakes on my part. But yes. Um, let's see. What else was there? Not a whole lot. We didn't cover too much ground, I suppose. But yeah, not too much needs to be gone over. But yes. So, now that I think about it, I didn't go over the business when we started, because I was in a hurry to get, get into the game. But yes. So, this Friday, um, but yeah, thank you for the stream. Thank you for dropping by. But yeah, this Friday, I will check with Sheps to see if we're going to be collabing. If not, I will probably resume Arknights on Friday. And most likely, I will be streaming on Saturday. But yeah, so if if we if we Sheps and I are collabing on Friday, then the Saturday stream will definitely be Ark Nights. If not, then it's possible that it might not be, but it probably still will be. But yes. So yes. Anyway, so Friday, either collab or Ark Nights, and then Saturday, if not if the yeah. A lot of conditionals there. Anyway, so Friday if or Friday, collab or Arknights. Saturday, if Friday was not Arknights, definitely Arknights. If Friday was Arknights, probably Arknights. There we go. So yes, the Saturday stream should be... Actually, I'm going to be off of work earlier than usual this, this Friday. So we can actually get started on that sooner, but, you know, when exactly will depend on what... Sh what Time Sheps is available. But yes, we will see. But yes, Friday should be, let's say, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and so should Saturday, I suppose. But yes, all that being said, not a whole lot else to go over. But yes, good to be streaming again. That I did take some, some time to relax a little bit, but it makes me feel makes me yeah, I don't know. Once again, when I've sort of not been on my usual schedule, it creates a certain tension in my mind about streaming. I sort of think, you know, oh, I've got to, I've really got to stream, I've really got to stream, I've really got to stream, and I got to make sure that it's a good stream, that it's a proper stream, it's a real stream. And, you know, stressing out about wanting to create good streams is a great way to make bad streams, in my experience. But yeah, I've not had a whole lot of those, but I've definitely had some streams before where I've, you know, before starting the stream, I sort of thought, oh, I need to, I need to make a stream. I need to do a stream. Any stream is better than no stream, even if, it, even if it's not a very good stream. And then I've gotten to the, the end of the stream and I've sort of looked back upon the stream after it is done being streamed. And I thought, hmm, no, I probably should have just taken this day off, honestly. And there are definitely some days that I, some days that I've taken off that I maybe could have not taken off, but it is what it is. So yes. So, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, also, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a raid target on my own. And yes, I suppose that covers everything. I'll take this opportunity to take a sip.
。せ。Final Fantasy IV, if that sounds nice. Sounds like a plan to me. <clears throat> yes. Purcell and Doll is making Lego. Hmm. Not familiar with Purcell and Doll now that I now that I think about it. I feel like seeing seeing a new streamer. Why not? We'll go see someone else. But yes. Purcell and Doll. Bum. Looks like uh, looks like they are wrapping up stream actually from the from the, the things. Yeah, Purcell and Doll is uh, released. Hmm. Or no? Are they? Hold on. Yeah, I look. I looked over in the chat and I saw something that looked like uh, a raid message. Okay, maybe. Um. Oop. Um. Yeah, no worries. I'm not hundred percent sure if they're if they're ending actually. Um actually no, yeah, that they're yeah, they're definitely ending. So, uh yeah, we'll go visit Marky Chen. <coughs> but yes. Anyway. Where was I? Right, okay. Anyway. But yes. Marky Chen. Alright. So yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. We already went over the business and all that. So, I suppose there's nothing else to do but the outro. So yes, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway, except I'm gonna wait a second because I didn't open the uh, the channel immediately, so now I need to wait for the uh, pre pre-stream ad to finish. Just a little bit longer. But yes. Yeah, over over in the Mika and the Witch's Mountain world, I have the game paused, and the and the background music is not playing, but I do have the sound of someone whistling, playing repeatedly. So it looks like they don't mute all of the sounds. All right, the ad is done, so now we can now we can raid. Oh, thank you all. Farewell. Good night.